You're off sick right now. How did this happen? Well, I went to my GP and told her how I was feeling and uh, that it was starting to affect my health. And she signed me off sick with stress-related illness. Did anybody do anything to help you deal with what was causing the stress? No. Nobody. I mean, I couldn't even help myself. I didn't know how to cope with it. I thought, I'm just going through a bad patch and it will sort itself out. It didn't, of course. And I ended up being signed off sick. I mean, work were next to useless. And the nearest thing I got to talking about how I was feeling was them moaning at me for being late. As Dan's manager, what did you do to try and prevent Dan going off sick? I didn't realise that work-related stress could be a problem. And although I'd noticed some changes in Dan, for instance, he'd started coming into work late, I didn't know that that was a symptom of work-related stress. I mean, he didn't talk to me. I didn't know he couldn't cope. It came as a real shock when he went off st with stress. I mean, we're all under a lot of pressure and I'd assumed that if there had been a problem that he'd have brought it up with me. Now he's off sick, we're a man down. We've got a lot to deal with already and now I've got that to sort out as well. How is your job now? I feel so much better now. Um, things have changed since I talked to my manager about how I'm feeling. We went through my job role bit by bit and where things were being a problem. We changed my uh, responsibilities and um, I really like that uh, my manager changed those frustrating protocols. I'm now able to make decisions uh, based on my experience. E also asked me how things were at home. And although I'm not really comfortable talking about personal stuff, um, I don't know him that well. It's good to know that if I want to, I can. Um, and of course, nowadays I know that if I'm starting to feel stressed again and I act on it, like uh, speaking to my manager or my colleagues, I know I can prevent it getting out of hand like it did before. Dan seems much happier in work these days. What's changed at work? Well, I'm quite new to the job myself. And it, at first it was quite hard for me to notice how much stress the team was under. I was pressured myself trying to get used to my new job role and to get everything done that I had to do, let alone manage a team of six. It wasn't until I had a one-to-one -one with Dan that I realised that things in the office had got to change. Dan was clearly stressed and I knew that someone had got to do something about it. In my last job, someone who was off work was stressed for six months because nobody did anything to help them. By talking through Dan's job role and talking to other members of the team, I realised that it was some of the protocols that I'd introduced that were the major problem. I realised that I should have consulted with those at the face, and I know better now. We're in the process of recruiting for two new posts, and I've taken on a temp so that can help out in the short term. There's a lot of fantastic expertise amongst the team, and I'm taking advantage of that by having meetings so that we can share, people can share their experience. I've given the individual team members more responsibility. These days, the team's got a much better atmosphere. They know that they can come and talk things through with me if there are any issues, and if we can resolve them, we will. It was apparent when I talked to HR that ours wasn't the only team experiencing difficulties. They tell me they're going to introduce a Well Worker initiative based on the HSC management standards for managing stress at work. Apparently, that's going to involve staff at all levels across the company identifying where things might go wrong and how they can be put right.